How do we respond to the call of Jesus to be fishers of men? This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Today is the feast of St. Andrew the Apostle, and the Gospel is the call of Jesus to his first apostles. And I read, As Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and his brother Andrew, casting a net into the sea. They were fishermen. He said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. From Matthew 4, verses 18 to 20. Andrew and the other apostles were fishermen, but at the call of the Lord, they responded immediately. They were able to see that what Jesus was offering was far greater than the chance to catch more fish. We celebrate Andrew and his fellow apostles because they gave themselves completely to the service of Jesus, our Lord, to spread the good news of salvation. If you recall in last Sunday's Gospel, Jesus taught us that the way to enter his kingdom will be how well we serve the poor among us. But today's readings remind us that the poverty is not only material. There are so many in the world today who do not know the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. In our first reading, St. Paul tells us that the people will not know the good news unless someone preaches it to them. Let us listen to our modern-day saint, St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta, who best exemplifies serving the poor and evangelizing millions of people who do not know Jesus and His Word. Here are some quotations attributed to her. One, I alone cannot change the world, but I can cast a stone across the waters to create many ripples. Two, I'm a little pencil in the hand of a writing God who is sending a love letter to the world. Number three, being unwanted, unloved, uncared for, forgotten by everybody, I think is a much greater hunger a much greater poverty than the person who has nothing to eat. Number four, the most terrible poverty is loneliness and the feeling of being unloved. And number five, the hunger for love is much more difficult to remove than the hunger for bread. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take to heart the example of St. Andrew the Apostle and St. Mother Teresa in responding to the call of the Lord to be fishers of men and loving everyone, especially those in need. And may our preaching be not merely in words, but by the very witness of our lives. And let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear Lord Jesus, thank you for your call to be fishers of men like St. Andrew. And grant us your grace to live by these words of St. Mother Teresa. Never worry about numbers. Help one person at a time. And always start with the nearest person to you. Amen. 
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless your families. May God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.